Hello, my friends. I wanted to pop on today to show you an overdue haul that I meant to film last week and I didn't get to it. So I made an order with paper issues. Look at how cute this little card is. And they sent me a little thank you note. It's just, it's just so cute. Anyway, they were having a sale a couple weeks ago and it was 40% off anything. So I went ahead and I thought I should take a look-see at the Pink Fresh Happy Blooms collection because I don't have it. So I thought I would take you through it while I look through it. Ooh, that is good and sturdy. I like to use these things when separating kids and things. So I thought I would take a look through it with you. I didn't get every single thing in this collection. Um, yeah, I just didn't, but I thought I'd show you what I did pick up. All right. So my first paper, and they're all from Happy Blooms. This one's called Heirloom. It's cute. It's um, like hand-drawn flowers. It's very cute. Obviously, you know, I actually like it more like, eh, you can't have it like that. Anyway, you know, picture, actually, eh, picture to the side, you know, easy peasy kind of piece to use. It's not the easiest to detail cut out because there's some overlapping. And the back side is like super easy matting, super easy for using a background, just yellow on a nice white, easy paper to use. The next one I have is called Cottage. So very sweet floral print, does look like cottage wallpaper. And the back side, it's almost a melon pink tone on tone. Once again, really easy to use background. I'll do A sides and then B sides. The next one is embroidered. This one is a lot easier to detail cut because we have a little bit of separation. And it's this great rose pink on a white. And the back side is this gorgeous kind of periwinkle purple tone that are just imperfect wavy. I don't know. It's not quite a gingham. Check. We'll call it a check. The next piece I have is called Memories and it is Yellow going towards mustard, but not quite a mustard. Really nice, easy print to use. And the back side is a pale blue with great little daisies. It's almost like a robin's egg blue. Oh, this one's fun. It's all these little stamp pieces. This is called Garden. So it's all kinds of stamps with garden type motifs. And the background is a gorgeous orchid tone. This is the type of paper that you need two of, and I don't believe I ordered two. This one is called Blossom, so really nice petal pink, big splashes of color, definitely perfect for detail cutting. And the back side is a blue and green, kind of blown up gingham. I like that side a little bit better. Oh, this one is awesome, it's called Handkerchief. So it's a really great spring green with pale blue leafy bits and white flowers. And the back side is a fantastic diagonal stripe. Yeah, I should have got two of a lot of these papers, but I did not. And this one is flower patch. So all kinds of sweet little flowers on that robin's egg blue kind of color. And the back is a gingham type print. And you can see the textile kind of vibe. It's very fabric. It's more of a picnic print, but it's pink on pink. And then my final piece of paper I have, it's called Daydream. So it's that great orchid on white. It is a stunning piece. And the back is a tight melon pink gingham. So my A-sides, yay, so pretty. Let's see how well I flip. My B-sides, oh, so pretty. <laughs> so they're gorgeous. I'll leave it on B-sides for now. I did pick up the alpha, the one that is green. I think there's two alphas. And it seems to me that I had the multicolored one in my cart and then somebody snagged it out before I ordered it. So puffy alpha stickers, 212 pieces. They are like a really nice kind of bendy alpha, a really great park bench green. Small amount of numbers. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight R's. I always count R's because I run out of them probably faster than E's. Oh, and I did get, so you know, I did get the six by six paper pack that has 24 papers in it. And I'm assuming, which is not always a smart thing to do, but I do assume that it has 
like two of each print, but I'm not, I have no idea. But, oh, hold on, hold on everyone. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. So, oh, they're double sided too. How gorgeous is that? I love this little itty bitty baby cut apart. Super usable. So this is kind of awesome. I didn't know that these were double sided as well. And you do see that some of these prints I already have. I have this, I have that. I have this. Love that with a, the nice deep orchid. I have that and that. So I do have a lot of these prints, which is fun. I have that and that. Very pretty. This is gorgeous, which I do not have. And this is the first one I showed you. I don't have that print. So gorgeous, gorgeous collection. And then, oh, look at this, tiny words. So you can cut these apart and have great little itty bitty word sentiments. So that is my mini paper pad, awesome. I did get the puffy frames. And what I do like about these puffy frames is we have frame, 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 right? But there's also um, sentiments and little pieces that are puffy bits, you know, with words and the butterflies and all of that, that are not frames. So they're called puffy frames, but there's some good good in there as well. Next, I was able to score the puffy stickers and it looks like it's upside down. So super gorgeous, really, really saturated colors in this collection. I think that is quite fun. And yeah, floral as the day is long. Then, hmm, I'm wondering if I should move these pieces because I have the journaling bits as well as the ephemera pieces. And I don't have a piece of white here. Sorry about that. My dog started to cough and I didn't think you wanted to hear him. Okay, so these are called journaling bits and there are 12 pieces in here. So let's take a look at them together since I haven't opened any of this till I spent time with you guys. So this hat reads Memories Together. It's a nice fishtail banner kind of piece. I want to move my lighting just a little bit closer. There we go. The word is special and it looks like a ticket. Remember this day. What is this? Oh, it's just a cute little card with yellow on one side and a pale blue on the other. Gorgeous orchid tag and there's a bit of a ticket piece on the bottom. So you could cut it apart and use it in two pieces or pop up a sentiment right there, which would be adorable. And look at that. There's like a little grommet dealio right there. A nice place to pop a little card. Another cool place to hide some journaling. Very nice touches. Happy memories with some notebook punch pieces. This is just a gorgeous little journaling card. If you're not dealing well with that, it has a gorgeous bit of a pea green on the back. Oh my goodness, guys, look at the size of that. Gorgeous. So you have a little purple piece with some gray lines, or you have a big old orchid tag to use. So once again, you have a place for journaling as well as some hidden journaling, if that's your thing on this one. Same dealio once again, two-tone, very, very pretty. And then this piece, look at how fun this is. You can fold it in half and then you have the little stringy bits you can do. It reads happy thoughts. So that's super cute, super usable, super cute. Great for layering bits in this collection. And then the last thing I can show you, I do have the ephemera and the ephemera has 42 pieces. So it's gonna take me a little bit of a moment to show it to you, but it'll be fun to look at it together because I want to see what's in there. I'm assuming it's tons and tons of floral because, you know, it's all about florals with this. So let's see. In the event that you don't like to look at things piece by piece by piece, we can have a look-see right here. Very nice. My lighting's a little bit funny today. I was trying to have the window open because I like to see outside, but I can tell you it does not make things bright. I don't know if that made it brighter or darker. I don't know. Okay, so let's see what we have in here. Guys, I really like the window open, so I'm sorry if the lighting is being funny, but it's sunny and I'm in Michigan and you have got to enjoy the sun when you can. Okay, so let's see what... 
zoics. So my camera turned off because it got all filled up. So I might repeat a couple of them. And if so, I am sorry, but let's take a look. All right, we have this cute little strawberry and it's he's kind of like a peachy pink, very cute. Nice floral bits, which are always great for tucking. Love the lemons. Cute little bowl of fruit. Look at this cake stand, guys. Cute little cake stand with fruit inside. This orchid tag. Let's see, love each day. Oh, look at how cute this little banner piece is. Grown with love. Absolutely fantastic celery green. This looks like it was embroidered upon. Very cute. <laughs> uh, Jello mold. Oh, come on. I have a piece that reads, oh gosh, it reads life. But then there's a banner piece that reads, you are my sunshine. Another little banner bit. Oh, we have a pear too, very cute. Oh, this little piece reads with macarons on it. Enjoy the little things. On this day, some nice little floral bits, an adorable birdhouse, much larger die cut right there. Let's see, my favorite, gorgeous orchid colored fishtail banner piece, homegrown. The word home, gingham piece that reads, love makes everything grow. This one is cut like a little ticket from my garden. Little flowers that are still ready to be planted, waiting to be planted. A piece of pie with some blueberries. An orchid floral with a bit of a, yeah, it's like a nice creamy teal floral or a leafy bits. A watering can and I need a watering can guys I keep forgetting to buy it a sun hat fishtail banner piece again oh cute little teacup a nice frame pretty little pink strawberry another of these fishtail banner pieces this piece reads it's so good to be home Sweet little butterfly, yet another banner piece. I wonder how many there are of those. Piece of, it looks like a cheesecake, maybe a lemon cheesecake. Let's see, a little round piece for tucking and adding to your clusters. Life is sweet. Oh, a little herb garden with mint, basil, and parsley, cute. And then finally, happy moment spent together. So that's what I got from my paper issues haul. So I've seen a couple layouts with this, these products so far. People are doing a beautiful job and I can't wait to get into my goodies. But that's all I have for today, friends. I will see you ever so soon with another video. Bye for now.